Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. Right now, I'm looking at my calendar. My videos are made a week behind or ahead, however you want to look at that. So I actually have a week until Christmas Eve, but it is actually Christmas Eve for you. So Merry Christmas to you. And if it's not a Merry Christmas, I pray that you can find some peace and some joy in today like sometimes this time of year can be so tough for people like so tough like we get so excited about all the great things that we can do and all the family we can visit all the gifts we can buy for people and all the things we can do and all these great things but there is a lot of like anxiety and there's a lot of overwhelmingness and there's a lot of just feeling like unloved just feeling unloved and not feeling that peace and not feeling that joy that you think you should feel in this life and so if that is you, I hope that you can find some comfort in the words that I showed this morning. So when I was reading my Bible this morning, it was in John. I brought my Bible here to share with you. John 14, and I read verse 16 I started at. It was the role of the Spirit. And it says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot receive that. Do you know the world cannot receive God's truth and God's peace in his life, they won't receive it and they won't take it to heart because it does not see him or know him, but you know him <laughs> because he, the Holy Spirit, remains with you continually and will be in you. So remember that if you're a born again believer where you accepted Jesus as your Savior, you know when you accept Jesus as your Savior, you know what he sends like immediately? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit to live inside of you and you've got Jesus living in you. So it talks about like what Jesus is going to leave us or leave the disciples. He's talking to his disciples and he says, but I'm going to leave somebody even better, somebody that is even greater because it's great to have somebody right next to you, right? <laughs> telling you what to do, Jesus. I mean, my goodness, he's telling you what to do, showing you things, but you've got something even better. You've got him inside of you. Yes, inside of you. You've got the greater one lives in me. That is way better, and that can help you so much more in your life. And I love the scripture. I'm going to keep reading from it. It says, I will not leave you as orphans. Think of like how an orphan feels. I couldn't even imagine the abandonment, the, what's more, it says, comfortless, bereaved, helpless. Could you imagine feeling that way? He says, I won't leave you like that. I will come back to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me. This is when he was leaving. But you will see me because I live and you will live also because he's living inside of you. That's pretty cool. And on that day when that time comes, you will know for yourselves that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. Isn't that cool? Because he lives inside of you. He keeps going through scripture and it goes to 26 and it says, but the helper. And I love this because it gives you more words. I'm reading from the Amplified Version and I like it because it kind of expands things a little bit more. And it says, for helper, it says, it's a comforter. Isn't that great to know that we have a comforter? somebody that can just comfort us in our weakness, an advocate. Oh, someone that is gonna go before us to fight for our behalf, give us a way. Sometimes you feel helpless, like you don't have a voice. He's gonna send an advocate, an intercessor. Mm, someone that's gonna go and pray for things and gonna be there in between to intercede for us for things that we need, things that we need in our life. A counselor, who? Someone that's gonna help counsel our heart let go of things in our life, let go of things in our past, let go of all those wounds in our souls, right? A strengthener. He's going to strengthen you within him and you're going to become strong and you're not going to be shaken. You're going to be strong in the Lord, be able to overcome and fight things in your life. And a standby. Standby. I like that one. I'm going to say that's like stand by you, right here with you. Not going to be alone. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things and he will help you remember everything that I've told you. He's going to teach you things, which is pretty cool. And this is good scripture right here. 27, peace I leave with you. My perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance. It doesn't say some, not just only at Christmas or at the family, in every circumstance. And give you courage and strength for every challenge. Hmm. Perfect peace. You want to have that perfect peace? It starts with having a relationship with Jesus Christ. And when you have that inside of you, oh, you may go through things. You might go through things in your life. You might go through relationships. You might go things in your family. Right now for Christmas, you might be going to a family gathering and you don't even want to be there. <laughs> you might have to, or maybe you don't get to be there. And that's heartbreaking. Maybe you've lost somebody this year or in years past. Maybe you just don't have enough to get by with this year because 
there's no money. Maybe you just, I don't know, maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed and just afraid of everything going on. Guess what? We can find peace in every circumstance, every, not just mine, not just this one, not just this one that goes to church, not just this one that serves, not just that one that gives enough tithe, every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge because we're going to have challenges in this world. We're going to have things that we're going to have to come against, things that we're going to have to overcome, and it might take you a little bit to overcome those things. It's not going to be an instant. It's not just because you become a believer and a Christian and then boom, life gets great and easy and you can just do anything. You can do all things. You can, but sometimes you got to get rid of a lot of yucky thinking in your mind, <laughs> a lot of bad habits and a lot of just routine things you've been doing and you got to do things a little bit differently and say, okay, I'm gonna go up for this challenge and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. You know that you're gonna make it, you're going to make it. You are, I promise you, you will be here and you're gonna keep going forward, we are. So that's gonna be my encouragement to you today. Peace, we're gonna have that peace. Get that scripture, I'll put it at the end so you can look at it today, so. All right, so today is Gather Your Fragment Friday. Again, I think last week was a, just, it's been a hmm, challenging, can I use that word? <laughs> For every challenge, a challenging couple weeks around the Marianne household, and that's okay. We're we're gonna get there. So, again, like yesterday, I think our kids. I, I resorted to ramen. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I had chicken, I had potatoes, I had stuffing left over, but the kids didn't like the mashed potatoes. They don't really like the stuffing. <laughs> I'm learning, learning what my kids like and don't like. So I resorted to having some chicken, have a peanut butter sandwich, and then later on it was, hey, can I have ramen? And I'm like, you go ahead. <laughs> so. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just remember that. It's okay. So today has to be a Gather Your Fragment Friday. I'm like, I promise I'm going to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've just had a bit of bad schedule and a bad everything, and uh, you know how that goes. So today's not going to be one of those days. I'm not going to have one of those days. So I'm going to keep going, keep making food. It is also Jensen's birthday today. Jensen, um, he is 12 years old today. So I've shared with you this week why I don't film my kids and a lot of my kids, I might, I might not. Jensen is not one to want to be on camera all the time. He will in some things, but he's not one to want to jump in front of it That's and that's okay. So he is going to get up today and he is going to go ahead to, he likes, what like what little boy doesn't love doing like mini fireworks, right? Like he loves that. He's not awake, I don't hear. So we're going to go, he always asks me, like we do 4th of July and he had so much fun if you guys watch our 4th of July, lighting the fireworks. And I told Greg, I'm like, we used them all. And I'm like, I should have like saved some for like afterwards because he really was like, can we do some fireworks? And I had nothing. So we have a fireworks store in South Carolina. This fireworks money smell like smoke bombs and pop it things, like nothing too crazy. Not like fireworks boom in the air, like tiny things. And so he, I said, why well, don't, that would be a really great surprise to take him down there because they're open all year round and he can go pick out some whatever smoke bombs you know he's a boy he loves those things so they're gonna do that today make sure I'm like looking at my mirror make sure I don't hear any children that's a surprise so he's gonna give that he loves Burger King the boy the boy I remember when he was I can't remember what age but I remember the first time he stopped by and like happy meal and wanted like a Big Mac meal and I was like are you gonna eat a Big Mac meal oh he does and so he's just a growing preaching boy so he wanted to go to Burger King today so they're gonna go to Burger King and then they're gonna go to the movies today so they're gonna have a nice boy outing today I think Steven's going to so boy time boy time and Greg's like you want to come I'm like oh, that's okay that's that's boy time for you guys so they're gonna go have boy man time and then um, what we're gonna do tonight is I don't know I don't know exactly how things are gonna go I know we're gonna have dinner and have his he wanted an Oreo ice cream cake I got that in the freezer and then they're gonna go watch um, Star Wars Star Wars and hang out at the shop which is fun for a boy <laughs> not fun for me so boy things building things painting things he loves making things so that's gonna be boy time that's gonna be Jensen's birthday today and so he's he's enjoying he got a gift and it did come we were kind of thinking it was gonna come after Christmas but it came before so that's going to be that day, but that's just more him doing that. So that's celebration. Happy birthday to him. Might show a few clips. If we do, we'll see. If not, but it's also going to be like 72 or 3 degrees today. Yeah, short sleeves. Yesterday, it was so warm. We went shopping. I had like my sweater and my dress on. I had long boots on. We went to the car wash and I found my flip-flops under my seat. I thought I had, like I had a pair here. They got wet. They kind of like got shrunky, so I threw them away. So I didn't think I had any more flip-flops. I found those in my car and I was like, yes because I like those. <laughs> so I was able to wear my flip-flop sandals yesterday and I was like, love it. I'm like, I'm gonna be the southerner that wears her flip-flops all winter long because I absolutely love that, love it. But I wasn't the only one. There was other people with capris and that on today. So that's what I did. I put on shirt, 
and capris today because it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be a warm day. I can't even believe it, 75 in the middle of December or end of December. Yes, my dream come true day. So anyways, happiness and weather. And then what else? We gotta make some food today. That's what we're gonna do. And then also a few things I've got um, to do in the home that I did not do yesterday because, you know, life, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. If you don't get things done, it's okay. If your Christmas cards didn't get put out, that's okay. We went and visited our neighbors and dropped off gifts to them. And she, she's, she's an older lady and she's like, there's my Christmas cards on the table. I just didn't get to them. And I'm like, who cares? That's okay. Send them out after Christmas. It don't matter. I still have things to get in the mail too. And I'm like, if it doesn't get done before Christmas, that is okay. Just remember, if you gotta take gifts, I've, I've more than once in my life as a child had a grandparent wrap a gift in a grocery bag and give it to me. Did I care? No. <laughs> Kids aren't gonna care. Stick them under the tree. Better yet, just set them under the tree without even wrapping them. They will not care. If you cannot get to that, it is okay. One less thing to do today. So remember, who cares? If it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. Toilets don't get clean for Christmas. They don't get clean for Christmas. That is okay. Do your essentials. Like today's essential is food. I need to make food because my kids are gonna resort to ramen if I don't have meals in my home. So that's my essential list this morning. I'm gonna start right now gathering fragments because we're gathering. We still have a lot of freezer meals, which I'm very, very thankful for. So we're gonna make some of those up and then I'm going shopping next week. So it's again, it's just a small gather. I don't even know what we're gonna make today, but small small that's okay with other things so i'm gonna get an earbud in because i'm going drink my coffee listen to my scripture and keep going with our day you guys ready all right peace peace is your word peace put it right here amy peace that's gonna rule in your mind today all right let's go okay real quick i gotta do a quick wipe up in my kitchen because it's dirty and there's dishes to go in the dishwasher so pot of water i'm gonna boil some water for dishes and there might be enough in the hot water i turn the hot water heater on today so i've got a nice hot shower oh, such a nice feeling hot water is amazing <laughs> So, I'm gonna just wipe up real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for breakfast, I just remembered, hold on. Okay, so for breakfast for the next couple days, there is cereal, pause my tablet, your bread. Um, there is cereal for breakfast, but I do have the giant Texas toast. So I'm gonna make some French toast with this because that makes really good French toast. I also have these right here. So I'm gonna make this with some French toast and then I'm gonna puree some strawberries and make like a strawberry sauce to go over. I haven't done that in a long time. Usually we use syrup, but they do like the strawberry sauce on top. So whip some eggs together, put my griddle out, cook some over there, put the sausage in the air fryer, easy breakfast. They'll eat this this weekend. I think that'll be all because I'll have cereal. So I'll make some of this and then whatever for cereal. That'll be an easy, little easy breakfast for the weekend. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. There's like no light over here. I'm gonna make some strawberry sauce. So basically, it's just strawberries. And we'll put apple juice in there and sugar. I know, it's just sugar. But it's flavorful and yummy, and it'll be delicious for adding to the French toast. You just need enough liquid to um, make it so it blends really good. Let me go get some sugar. Okay, so I got a little inspired. I was like, mm, I'll just have French toast for breakfast and that's all I have. Well, then I got my blender out with the strawberry stuff and I'm like, 
You know what I haven't made in a long time, which I was making all the time and I haven't in a long time? Bean donuts. Yes, for those of you that haven't had them and go, oh, she's making bean donuts again, but they're so good. They're so good and they're somewhat healthy. Do we need a little bit more somewhat healthy? I've got cookies, I've got cookies sitting out, cookies in there. We're gonna have a lot of junk food. So if they're gonna eat junk food, why not have the healthier junk food? So we're gonna make chocolate bean donuts, Christmas style, some little Christmas sprinkles. I think that'll be a nice addition today. So these are great. If you need some good donuts, make these. They're so good, so good, so delicious, so yummy. I'll say it again and again. I've made blueberry ones, not of the beans. I need to, I told you guys I would kind of mix it up and do pumpkin ones. I haven't done that. I'm sorry, forgive me for that. But I have made like other versions like apple cinnamon ones. They're okay. The blueberry, they're okay. But the chocolate, pff, every time, gone, 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 gone by every kid, every whatever. Cause they just keep coming out and eating them. And they're beans, so they're okay. So I'm gonna make, I'm looking at my recipe here. I'm thinking a double batch, right? Yeah, double batch of those. That sounds delicious. All right, we're gonna, this is gone French toast and the so spinach, the spinach, the sausage is cooking. Let me check this. Let's done. Let me flip these first. Okay, let me get you over here and put everything in my blender. This is gonna overflow a little bit. Let me get everything in my blender. The measurements down <laughs> one can is like one and a half um, cups of beans so I'm gonna do it times three my recipe Maxine just woke up and she's like, I'm looking for my bone. So I'm gonna go get her a bone out here in the living room. She needs her morning bone. You want this? <laughs> you, have, you want that? You want that? She's like, I gotta go eat. All right, let's finish up over here. That's good, just three extra I had to do. I don't know how many eggs I put in there, but that was a whole loaf of Texas toast. So that worked out good. Okay, that can be a little bit messy. Roll, putting that out in there, that's okay. Just don't overfill your bag. I overfilled and I had like no room to push it. So it's getting everywhere, but um, got those, these bags, the piping bags. One of my viewers bought me like a hundred of these. I don't use, the last forever in your pantry, but way better. I used to use Ziploc bags. That works, just don't use like Dollar Tree cheapy ones because they explode. So this is first batch, I'm putting the oven. I'll go clean up my mess now. Donuts are in the oven that I was gonna bake, so I'm gonna get into making my dinners for the weekend. I'm just gonna do two of them for the weekend because I don't really know if I need more. I can whip up something on like Sunday. I just don't know how much everyone's gonna be here and how much everybody's gonna eat. So I don't wanna make too much because next week is Christmas for us. Don't wanna have a lot. So this is the gathering for me. So I'm gathering up what I have. Freezer meal, beef stroganoff, and jambalaya right here. So two dishes we really, really enjoy. My jambalaya, I put add one and a half cups of water and put, oh, I think I actually have the rice in here. Oh, I do. Actually, everything's in here. So I'm gonna just put one and a half cups of water, put it in my pan here, put it on the stove and heat it up. Easy, that'll be dinner. 
the beef stroganoff, I just cook with the noodles, two curly noodles, and add this packet. Easy. First batch of bean donuts out. Jambalaya is going to cook, and I'm going to get my water boiling. Easy dinners. Not very exciting for you, but exciting for me because I don't have to do a lot of work. <laughs> so I'm going to do something else. What You know what I'm going to do is I pulled out one of my list here to do more of this. I love this tea. This I found at my do um, not Dollar General, my discount store. Watermelon teas, watermelon and lime zinger. It's amazing. I usually put this in a water with some ice and just drink it all the day long. So I'm going to, my container's empty, so I'm going to fill this up right now. Okay, so I just went, I could put three in here. I thought it was only two. So I stocked up on a lot of these in the summer and now I'm down to like two in my extra reserve. So now I know when I go shopping, like next week I'm gonna hit the discount store in our town. And so they have this for a dollar. So I'll probably stock up on some of it because it lasts, tea doesn't go bad. And it's so good. I get a bunch of it. There's how many tea bags? 30? How many tea bags do you get? It doesn't even tell you. Oh, you know what this has? It's hibiscus, rose hips, orange peel, Watermelon and lime. I just had a hibiscus berry tea at um, Starbucks with lemonade. It was so good. And I also had it at Panera for Brooklyn's birthday. And so I like the hibiscus. So I will, anyways, make myself a mental note when I go to the discount store and get more of these because I might not have any more. And it's so good. So this is filled. When you're doing stuff like multiple stuff during the day, people are like, how do you do what you do? I'm thinking ahead of like what I could do. Like, the donuts, they have to cool. This is just gonna cook. So in between things, like what little things can I do? Like maybe you have time to wait on something in the oven. Clean out a drawer or go through and clean out your purse or do a quick wipe of your refrigerator, something like that. Just do think of little jobs that need to be done that you can do in between while you're doing everything else. So let me put this away. Okay, so when you do your bean donuts, sometimes when they sit for a little bit, they, the batter gets a little bit stiff. So if it's sticking up in the pan, do you see how like I push that down? That's how they'll bake. They don't like fall into the pan. Like some batter is a little bit thinner. This one is not. So whatever you, if it stays up, like I'm looking at my ones over here, I kind of push these down pretty good. But if you have like a little bit that sticks up, can you really tell? It's going to do that in your final product. But your final product, but this is good. I don't make too many things over and over. I make these over and over. So let me put these in the oven. Clean up my mess here, and then um, I'm gonna make my. What am I gonna make next? The icing for the donuts, because they will be ready. This next batch here, and my jambalaya, I just turned down on the low, so it can keep simmering over there. So it's doing good. I'm doing great. So early, still early day. That's what I need today. Early, early day. Okay, so the recipe it either is three tablespoons of unsalted butter or coconut um, oil. That's what I'm gonna use. The butter it does leave like a buttery taste. I don't know if you can explain that. The oil gives them more like a glaze, like you don't really taste anything. I hope that helps. It's more like a, you know, like when you bite into a donut and it has like that glaze and you know, it's just, I don't know, like a coating. That's why I think the oil does and it's a little bit more, it'll melt more. Like if you store these, they're gonna, if you don't keep them cold, they're gonna melt a little bit. So preference, whatever. I like the oil in there and then you add a little bit of salt. So just, if you do salted butter, you don't need the salt in there. So, all right, let's put the oil in here, put it in the microwave, and then we'll mix everything up together. I gotta fill my, powdered sugar container and keep you going. Seeing that spoon in there goes, hmm, maybe I need to make some popcorn. I got a salt shaker. Maybe I'll do a little bit of popcorn too. Let's fill up our powdered sugar while that is melting. We'll put everything together. multitasking. Noodles need to go in. Should 
have used a big pot for that, but I didn't. So I'm just going to, um, cause it's right to the top. I have my pot over here for water. I should just use that water, but it's almost boiling. So keep your eye on it, put the lid on to retain that heat and then it'll start boiling. You can flip it again. So, all right, got my, I added a little bit more. I had a lot of extra coconut oil that was more than three tablespoons. So I just added more baking, baking powdered sugar, not baking powdered sugar to it to make it um, be enough. So I want more of a the thicker glaze on my donuts. So this is good, boiling. When that boils, I'll take the lid off and then I'll do my donuts over here. My noodles are finished. I gotta pour those out and drain them real quick before I do my donuts. So since this is a whole meal in a bag, I'm gonna put this in the pot, put the noodles back in, and just heat it up. Okay, so I added a little bit more powdered sugar to my um, donut glaze, which is okay. Usually I dip the donut and it's clear and it falls apart. Well, this one I had to dip it and it like stuck in there. I'm gonna do them like this. So, just something a little bit different. Have all the glaze on top and it actually hardens. I like that. So I'm just gonna kind of spread it on. I probably could put it in a squeezer thing. Probably be way easier, wouldn't it? I've got like crumbs in there for my one donut because I dropped it in there. I'm actually gonna put this in the squeezer thing. Just pipe it on top of all of that. I think that will be good. Will that work? Or just take the time with the spoon. Let's go get the piping bag easier and then we'll put it here, put sprinkles on, it's done. Easy donuts for the holiday. All right, I think I'm gonna discover something way easier. Let's do this. All right, these were these white plates came in handy presentation. <laughs> that works out really good. These are good. I'm just gonna put the lid, actually I put the lid on, but I need to let them, this one's kind of steaming. I need to let them harden up a little bit. So you can put them in the refrigerator, make them go faster. Leave them out. I made my frosting a lot thicker than I normally do. So just as you guys always say, I always dip them, it's more of a glaze. This is more of on top frosting, which is really cool. And if you did it like perfectly, you get that star shape on top. I didn't do that on all of them, but as you can see, this one it didn't, but you could if you wanted to keep that. So these are good. We'll have these for breakfast or for treats, which is good. The jambalaya is done over here. Let me bring you over here. This is how the easy freezer meals work. Jambalaya, look at that, done. This is beef stroganoff, delicious and done. I am even gonna leave it in the pot. What? I'm not even gonna wash another dish. I could put it in a nine by 13 pan, but I think I'm just gonna leave it in there. So that's good. I don't think I had anything else for dinners. Just do two, see how we do. And then I think I'm gonna make for lunch. I've got some tortilla boats. One more box of these and I thought I have pepperoni and I have um, some cheese, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. So I think I'm gonna make little, ta or not taco, pizza boats out of these. I just gotta make mix up some sauce. I don't think I have any sauce. I'm gonna look in my freezer, I don't think I do. And then I'm um, just making little taco boats for lunch. Easy and done. Okay, so dinner is done. I've got the beef stroganoff. I actually added a little bit of creamy mushroom soup. Remember that stuff I made this week? I put a little bit more of that in there. Just make it creamier because we're not gonna eat it all today. So it's nice and creamy. See the glistening, that's what you want. Because if you reheat it, it'll be dry. So those two are done. That'll be all of our food. 
for the weekend if I need more, I can make something more. So I've got to make some pizza, or pizza sauce, pizza sauce up. I'm gonna take tomato sauce here and put in some spices, garlic, basil, and oregano, sugar and salt in there, mix it up, and I'll put that in my little pizza boat with pepperoni cheese, and then we can put them in the air fryer, they'll get nice and crispy, or you can put them in the oven. So those are gonna go in the air fryer when we are ready for lunch. They'll be nice and crispy. You can put them in the oven. And then I had a little bit of sauce left over, a little bit of cheese, and I still have pepperoni. So I told the kids, I said, if we eat this up this week, like today and tomorrow, if you wanna make more, we can make the poor boy pizzas. <laughs> and basically you take toast, two pieces of bread, put them in the toaster, and then like make pizza sauce, put pizza sauce, pepperoni, and cheese, put it together like a sandwich. We see those all the time. Even in the oven, you can do them that way, but, or the air fryer, wherever. So that's good. So this part is done. I was gonna do popcorn, but I'm debating do popcorn or not. I feel like maybe we should. Maybe I'll do some popcorn. Let me do a little bit of popcorn, not too much for the weekend. Okay, so I decided not to do the um, popcorn. I was like, you know what, we still have cookies, we have donuts, we have all those treats, so I'm not gonna make any more things for now. If we need more for the weekend, I'll make some. Just trying to keep it low key, just not doing too much because next week's gonna be a lot of stuff. So I'm done in the kitchen. Gonna clean up, take off my apron, be done. I have a lot of stuff to do in the house today that I'll share with you, and then uh, we're gonna get moving and do chores in the household. Oh yeah, the girls all sit like how staring at me, so they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna do chores now. <laughs> so we're gonna get things. The birthday boy, when you have your birthday, the one thing that we do is we don't they don't have to do any chores. So their chores are non-existent for that day, and they get the day off. They usually they it's a rule, Maddie says. So usually they pick up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He didn't really want anything for breakfast here. He's gonna have it tomorrow morning. They're gonna get something. And then lunch is gonna be Burger King. And he didn't even say dinner. He wants like pizza rolls. So I think they're just gonna pick those up when they're out. So I don't even have to do anything at all. I got to buy the cake. It was easy. So let's go do some more stuff around the house. We're doing chores throughout the house. One of the next job, one of the things that I'm going to do, I fill up the hot cocoa container, is fill up the animal food container. I'm gonna do that right now. You're all freaking sorry. Maxine's like, wear a smell Ruby's bones. I want those. So these are filled. So that way next month when I get dog food and stuff, I can know that I'm out of extra and take some more. All right, so I've got windows open. You know it's getting warm when the windows are open. So I've got Christmas cards. I went to my peel box yesterday. I never share with you what I got. So we've got, this is from Cassie white so she's got peace on earth will come to stay i like that that goes along with what we were talking about today oh she wrote a big giant one let me see her super sweet thank you for that encouragement to me mama cass cassie so i'm gonna hand these to Matt. she is gonna hang those up and then i've got one for my friend uh barbel germany so this is really cool a sweet so she sent me this from germany that's pretty cool this is from carol weisenhunt thank you carol this is from alexis white Thank you so much. So sweet. Look at that. That's cute. And this one's from Elizabeth Green. <laughs> love, love these little cards. Thank you so much. We deeply appreciate them. We do. So this is from Rayan. Rayan. I like that. Look at that. That's cute. I like that card. Mm, I love this. This is the Forest family. Remember we were talking about 
peace. This is like our whole thing right here. Peace for today. The peace of God. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men. With every Christmas blessing, may your faith and hope increase, and may the Lord of Jesus, may the love of Jesus, bring you everlasting peace. The Forest family. You've got one, two, three, four, five kids. That's nice. It's from Beth Schalter. It's like that with the kitty cat on the front. Aww. Little kitty. Mm, thank you, Beth. Lisa Blackman. Look at that. She sent me one. I like it. She sent me one last year. Picture of her family, too. So thank you so much for that, Lisa. Super sweet. Well, I like it. all the family on there. And then this one is from Kelly Bullock. Mm -hmm. Longtime follower of your channel. I remember Kelly. Lots of love from Kentucky. It's very sweet. Mary and Bryce. So I'm going to have Madeline. She's going to hang those all up on the wall. Right? And then I also got um, some things I got in the mail. I don't know who they came from. So ceramic knife set. So thank you. These are really nice knives. Look at that. That's a knife right there. And then send some Oriental Five Spices. I don't know what that would smell like. Oriental Five Spices to go with this. So this came and then we got, I got boys alarm clock came in. So I'm going to put that in there. And this is the one I got. The girls have this. This is really loud. Works good, puts the alarm, they're all waiting in their head, yeah. So alarm goes off, it has a sound machine all night, and then the alarm will go off in the morning, and then I got a shaker for my popcorn salt in here too. Right, then something else we got was, we got more Oreo houses from Miss Barbara. So we've got them up here on the refrigerator, so this will be something fun to do. Maybe we'll do that for Jensen's. And then Angie LaForest, she sent me a boxes full of treats. Let me show you all the delicious stuff. Yeah, baked in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, have you baked the potato chips? <laughs> baked in Brooklyn chips. So with all these, those are fun. There's little chocolates. How delicious. And salt with the girls already opened the salt water taffy. They were eating that. So thank you, Angie. That was very sweet of you. So what I'm going to do, leave these out because we will do some of these Oreo cookie houses because those were fun. And the snacks, we'll get to eat that. And then I'm going to fill up my container with the popcorn salt. All right, that was a little sneak preview for Jensen's birthday. They got lightsabers, so they are yeah. gonna be playing with those tonight. But they are actually headed right now to the fireworks store. He doesn't even know. I just kept, Brooklyn almost slipped. I almost slipped, <laughs> so it'll be a surprise for him. Okay, so I've got everything else put away. What I did buy this year was a organizer for my wrapping paper because we just shove it in the top of my closet. So I'm gonna put this together, put all my rolls of paper in it so it's just much more organized and I can store it in the garage. All right, this is a great container. It holds, oh, I didn't realize there's side pockets. Oh, perfect. There's pockets like in the front. Look at all this. Pockets up here, you can stick stuff all across. I can stick the scissors in there, look at that. This is great. I have a lot of paper. Usually I go after Christmas and buy paper on clearance and I'm like, there's like a whole container full of paper here. So I might not do that. I might go get some, but not too much. I try to get stuff that's like not so much Christmassy, I know. Like this one, I know it looks Christmassy, all the inside snowflakes, but the outside so we can wrap Christ a birthday gifts and stuff with it too. So I've got two more, just because I didn't want to put any more in here. I have to wrap a couple gifts, so I'm gonna keep those out, try to use it up, and then when we wrap presents, try to focus on using up the ones that we have left over here. So let me go get, and it's got these little pockets over here to keep stuff. I have a lot of tissue paper, so don't buy tissue paper and don't buy labels. I have over 400 labels. I don't need labels. <laughs> so this is perfect and lots of tape. So let me go in my room and finish, grab the rest of the presents I need to get to wrap and then uh, we're gonna be good. Some random presents here to get wrapped up. So I'm gonna use like Jensen's birthday paper. This would be his paper even though it's um, Christmas paper. And then I'm gonna try to use up all this mismatched paper because um, just to use it up to get out of my container so I know what I have to do. So I'm gonna wrap presents.
All right, so we've got all of the kids over there. Come up here. We've got all of our gifts wrapped, and this thing is full. I'm like not thinking I need any paper, but it was um, there was like two rolls that wouldn't fit, so I left those two on my desk in my room because I know Greg's gonna do some shopping still, so I thought that way they can wrap with those. So this is good. I'm gonna put this in my room for now, and then we'll put this downstairs for wrapping paper in the garage. I won't have to worry about it. So everything's done and wrapped. I'll get all wrap gifts wrapped for the kids. I'm gonna ship out. Got those good to go. Good day. So the only other thing I was gonna do is I got the wax for my boot. I might wait. Let me see. I might do that. Let me go see. Let me go put this away and we'll see where we're at. All right, so I don't know what happened. It was supposed to be like 70 today. I feel like it's only 60. My camera's a little wobbly here. So we're inside. The girls and I are in there. We are listening to Christmas songs. So I had to come outside because of the noise. Hold on one second. Ruby's like, I hear you. So it has been a good, good day. The shoe dye, I'm like thinking the boot was white underneath. You know, I don't know. I paid money for the boots, but obviously it's just a coating of leather, not real leather. But I'm going to do that, let it dry, and then keep adding some layers and see if that'll make a difference in there. Because I really do like the boots. I've had them on there. I've had those boots for a long time, like years. Really, really. I think I got them a long time ago when I got my Michael Kors purse. So I'd like to keep them, but we'll see. If not, then I'll just have to get another pair, but no big deal. So it's been a good day. So I'm finished. We got to wrap all of our presents. We got to put our... Pre our <coughs> Ruby. <coughs> Nobody needs to hear you. No, we don't. <coughs> She's just making sure you're all here. Just in case you don't, she's barking. There's nothing here. There's no bears. There's nothing. She's like, I'm just checking. So what I'm going to do is, it is the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is, it's the afternoon. I've got dinner done. We're going to do probably beef stroganoff or jambalaya tonight. Don't mind Ruby. She just wants to, you to know that she's a barker and a watcher. That's what she does. <laughs> Anyway, so we're done. We're done for the day. I'm gonna have to edit for a little bit. It's gonna take me a couple hours to edit. And then I'm finished. We'll watch some Christmas movies. Me and the girls tonight, the boys are with dad, so they're gonna have a boys day out. He'll come back in a little bit. I might film, I might film some and then add it to Monday's video because he just, you know, he's, they're having fun, but I wanna get start editing so I don't have to uh, wait till tonight to edit. So I thank you guys for watching. And remember you are created and designed for a wonderful purpose on this earth. You are, and remember that, that verse, peace. We're gonna remember that peace today, that peace, that I give to you, not that the world gives to you. My peace, I leave with you. Just remember those words today. So have a beautiful rest of your day and Merry Christmas because it's Christmas Eve here, but I know next week I'll film for my Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas and we will see you guys again tomorrow with the Monday Bus. And if not, I'll see you guys again on Monday with another video. All right, we'll see ya. Bye.